Okay, so welcome to the last seven laps of uh, was it round 14? Probably is, and it looks like once again Phil is in the lead in the safety car period, and well, we still got what we're half of the field, over half of the field catching up. So obviously he pulled out a massive lead before some idiot decided to crash. Everyone knows who that is. Um, we have Matty who is right behind him, followed by, if I'm correct, Stubbles? Maybe wrong, maybe wrong, could be Lewis, who uh, recently moved to Sarbot, wanted to move to HRT, but uh, Matty said no, uh, patronising himself a bit, but uh, whatever. Don't hurt me! Um, so, here we are. We're adding a ball with Phil once more. And he, he's just been pretty pretty damn good all season. Consistently in the top three. Winning all the time, practically. And um, I think the safety car is going to be in anytime soon. It's been out for quite a while now. And yes, you can see Phil is backing up the pack. And the uh, cameraman's gone insane. We've been asking shot. Yeah. Oh, I think he stopped. Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. And here we go. He's uh, setting off. Oh, strong start. He's already gone cap to Matty. Pretty well done. Off he goes. Very gently on the front of him. So the lead is gone. Using uh, the move on to uh, Ivory Coast and he's gone into the pits for Ferrari. And Bo will fill again, switching over to Matty. Over to Chris, who has just overtaken one of the Salvers. Doing a very awkward line to uh, those escorts. So if you get the first one wrong, you're going to get the rest wrong, and the Salvers gone wide. That lead. And he's going to overtake over the other salvo, and the other salvo nearly getting into the garbage himself. So, when Rick Dodgy wants to chat, he can screw up. And we were. Oh, and the salvo's just absolutely tipped him into the wall. This race is over. And if I remember correctly, that is Lewis. And uh, we're just flicking through the drivers again onto Mini West in fourth. Uh, Tom up in fifth in the Red Bull. Doing uh, pretty well. Using as much cars as possible. We had eggs in sixth. We got a crazy one in seventh. Chopping a bit of a corner off there in the Ferrari. Ferrari's known to be cheaters. Jamie into ninth. I think it was ninth. No, it was eighth. Dan's in ninth, his teammate. Of course, India's really looking at a strong race, but uh, a mixture of bad luck and uh, mistakes has ruined that. And uh, Red Doggies now left the party. Good riddance. And he's left the game as well. Good riddance. Taking a very conservative approach into that corner there, Dan. But, good lines for you. If he had distraction left, that would have been perfect. If he learnt throttle control, and I think he has. Because he keeps telling me about it, and I believe him. Doing a good job. We've got a little queue going on here. We've got Crazy Runner stuck behind Tongue Lock. And uh, Mini West also in a queue here yeah? because Matty's got some position. He's gone off somewhere, and uh, Chris is now in second place. And uh, Chris has gone very, very wide there, and he's lost probably two positions there. No, he hasn't, he's still there. He's trying to take him on the outside. He fails, cuts a bit of a cut off, and knocks a wheel of Matty. And I think that's the end of the counter attack. But he is staying there. You can hear that Cosworth V8 just. And uh, oh, Chris has just gone wide. And oh, they're all going wide. Trying to get as much out of the tyres as possible. But listen to the V8 scream. It's like a V10. Cosworth have done a really good job with the engine this year. And uh, that's a bit of a lag. Going into a reverse cam view now. Probably a comfortable lead, but Chris will most likely have DLS, so will Wes. 
but I think Chris is too far behind to make any efforts as I drink a sip of my tea. Oh, that's he going a bit wild there. And Chris again, taking a little bit out of that corner. Oh, looking for that extra margin. This uh, pretty good lines, very, very well done there. Extending as much as you can, get another gas valve. That's hyper extending it. Like a knee, you don't want to do that. Oh, and he's into the level. That's not a good thing. He has second secure, so he should calm down. And look at him, he is gone with the wind. Fastest lap as well, but I think over two seconds. We'll find out at the end of the race, the fastest lap. As he uses the curves. There's no one in sight. Matty has only just gone around that corner. And every probably he's lost his wing. Ivory Coaster has lost his wing. And Psycho's into the gravel. Friggin' took me out. I'm gonna be absolutely go insane. Oh, well, we have got speckles. He's being chased by Force India. I'm not sure which Force India that is. It may be Dan. May just be Dan. And we got Lewis Hamilton. So not the actual Lewis Hamilton. That would be insane. After that crash, and yes, there he goes. Dan, make an awesome overtake there. Well done. But now, Speckles. Oh no, it's not Speckles with the DRS, is it? It is Dan. You can make full use of that. And he's going to sweep into that corner. He's got problems on as well, so he's got overall in laps more grip. To my prime knowledge. And uh, Jamie, he is in the toe of what looks like to be a Red Bull. We have three laps to go. There's no overlap. And he, oh, there we go, he takes him. Oh no, he doesn't. Just not enough. As we move on to Tunlock. Now to the rear view, and Jamie takes a dive into the inside. Tunlock left absolutely defenseless. And he just gives up there. He doesn't want to go into a massive fight, but he wants that position. Points matter. So we ride again with Dan. Oh no, we don't. We move back onto Tunlock, and I think we're going on to Jamie now. Yes, we are. Rear view camera. I guess you would call it a chase cam as Tunlock. He's going for the inside. And he, oh, he's got the grass and he's hit Jamie. Not a good thing to do. I'm going to be careful there. If they had no traction, then they would have been off into the wall like Alan McNish in 2003. Oh, yeah. I think it was. As a Tunlock. He's going for the inside line. And he's got it. Oh, big man on wheels. The Tomac has got that. Jamie's looking for any way past him again. Very ambitious. He, I, you could tell he wasn't get through. Again, through the inside. Nearly bumping gearboxes. Got traction control, kicking fully in. He's got the tail. He's gonna really, it's gonna really hurt through these corners. But he'll really work well with the straights and uh, keep, he's keeping to him. He's probably going to get past. Oh, as we knock again, Jamie very desperate to get through. He wants to try and impress. He had a good start to the race in third position. And, well, the safety car and various bits of bad luck has not done him well at all. Qualified fourth. And Brandon Bull will be at it, chasing Crazy Runner now. He's got some good speed. The we had it's going to do anything crazy. Is just very, very slow. Oh, the we had it's looking for any sort of space. You can't stay behind for too long. As we ride again on board of Tunlock. As Jamie will have DRS, will it work? It doesn't look like it. He's too far away, he's not getting any benefit. Getting at the end of a straight is not good enough, as you can see from the braking. He's really trying to get through as he knocks the gearbox. 
Well, it's not really the gearboxes, but a bit of a wing. I don't know why they say gearbox, but whatever. Yeah. On these cams, you can really see how much the suspension is working. Crazy. Doing solidly, solidly well in sixth. The we addicts. Where has he got past him? Where did he get past him? Crazy must have made a mistake. It's a random ball of Chris all by himself. To be honest, the top four are all separated now. Wes in third. Solid race for him. Another good race for Matty. Even though he's had some lag. And uh, we're nearly on the final lap as we jump on towards Phil. Philip Coe in his final lap in the Suzuka track here in Japan. He's just taking these corners nice, nice and gentle. Really controlling the throttle here. This, this throttle control is so seriously well, ooh, what does it work? It just, it just works. You can't really tell whether he has his traction control on or off because he's just gliding through these corners. He's not, he's not adding any extra throttle input. He's not adding any more than he needs to. He's just keeping that engine nice and cool. Keeping those tyres, importantly, as well, in pristine condition. It really does help. He's short shifting now, that V8 screamer, even now, resonating through that car. Taking a nice wide line, and then a tight one through there, and just letting the car slide out. He's not doing any more than he needs to. Just letting the car do what he wants as he laps Psycho. Tony, having crashed, causing the safety car. Down to lag supposedly. But well, here we go, Phil. Going for the last sweeping corner. Wins yet another CRL race. Fantastic. Well ahead in the championship now. As we ride on board with Matty. Another solid race after a long term off. Coming third is Wes. A good strong race for him. And Chris. Good race for him. In four. One of his best finishes in this league. As we jump onto Ivory for some strange unknown reason. We Addicts crosses the line in 5th. Crazy Runner in 6th. Jamie without a wing takes an extra position due to a penalty Crazy had. As the uh, camera is m messed up. But we've got news that Dan is just crossing the line now. And he has got an extra position. He jumps all the way to 7th. Just found his teammate. Great job from him. And we going into the final bit. Oh, and he's uh, taken out the board. So here is the final, final positions as we're about to scroll up any time. Here we go. Phil first, Matty second, Winnie West third, and there's a rest of the as I quit.